down to our last two matches here at PWR Live Respa. And this is a match I've been looking forward to seeing since I booked it. It's Ralph Imabayashi now entering the Photon Showroom with his tag team partner Redrick Ahaba. Once again, Ralph is one of my fellow Bash 2 boot campers, and I love, absolutely love, the change of personality. He's been, taking, he's been given a lot of trash over the past year, and now he's decided to make it to the treasure. I think Ralph Imabayashi is making it a point to be the Pete Dunn of PWR. Look at his Pete Dunn-inspired outfit. His yeah, it's so hot! His attitude is pretty much similar to the Bruiserweight. He gives zero cares now. And he's got a lot of anger, a lot of frustration, a lot of hate inside him. Is he embracing that dark side now? Whatever it is, it's working for Ralph. of the younger generation of PWR wrestlers has a lot more tricks up his sleeve and has a better edge against the so-called old guy. JDL has been called the measuring stick of PWR. He's become the standard bearer of our company. And we're about to get another reminder of why that is. Stay woke, guys. Stay woke. Because the young men, the young guns, the young lions, are about to take the old guard to school, man. Jake Leon is a very talented wrestler. No doubt about that at all. Everyone loves him. But you I don't think it's his night tonight. This afternoon. There's a lot of history in this ring right now. Ralph Mabayashi and Jake Leon, among the first few to have held the PWR Championship. Yay, They've been friends, the tag team partners, and today they're adversaries. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm actually, I'm sorry. Uh, Yes, son, fair and square. Only if Jake Dillon is so okay. Redick Mahaba from New Generation also won this match fair and square. Thank you. That's all there is to it. Man. Let's get this match to me. Like I said earlier, a lot of history in this match right now. Both of them have held the PWR championship. Both of them have carried PWR through some of its tougher, tougher times in our, in our company's history. Look at them staring off each other, not sure what they're taking measure in movements. Both men are both aware of what the other can do to them if they're not careful. I mentioned earlier that there, there's history between them. They started out as friends, they became a tag team for a while, and then Ralph Mabayashi just let his anger take over, and now it, it's as if both of them have restarted, they've, they've rebooted themselves. And uh, this is where we're at, that's why they're trying to feel each other out once again. I know what Ralph Mabayashi is feeling right now. He, I think he needs, and he feels that he needs to reinvent himself in order to, to resume winning again, if you will. But where is this coming from? Where is this trip on Ralph's shoulder coming from? I mean, it's easy to, it's easy to assume that it could be from his losing streak. He hasn't really won a match in a very long time. I mean, Excuse me, Mr. C. Have you not been watching your own cards? He's been screwed one way or the other by, you know, forces outside of his control. Maybe, maybe he thinks that he needs to take control for once 
and you know maybe not be as friendly as not as gentle not as accommodating to everyone else to get far you know what I'm saying to get farther than where he's been lately I wouldn't say that he's always been a victim of circumstances outside his control. Vlad Sinsik beat him fair and square in Vlad's debut at the Showdown last year. That was one time, that was last year, that was the skinny at the end, but after that, there were so many other things contributing to Ralph's newfound personality. But people like Chris Panzer have found it in themselves to always look at the brighter side and to let, and to not let the dark side consume them. Ralph Mabuyashi taking everything outside. It's a wonderful drop kick, basement drop kick by Jake Leon. And now JDL bringing Ralph back into the ring. But it's gonna take more of that to oh. put him away. Oh my God! Not a lot of people focus on those fingers either here in our sport, but I love it when someone just tries to take advantage of those fingers. You think those are fingers, but you know you think those are just fingers, and they're not the biggest body part that could be broken or could be hurt, but try holding on to something when your fingers are all in pain. Or try bending them when they're not supposed to bend a certain way. Jake Taylor's going to town on Ralph's arm and setting up, I guess, for the eventual in a cell lock later on. It also doesn't help, help Ralph Imabayashi that um, his brand of strong style, Filipino strong style, entails that he has full faculties of his appendages, his, his arms and legs. Of course, of course, he's gonna need everything to put pain. Let me ask you this, as someone who gets inside the squared circle, what do you think about Ralph Imabayashi's hashtag respect pro wrestling movement? I think it's an honorable cause. I think fans know too much, I think they think they know a lot, they think they know things that they really don't have any idea. So, they gotta start respecting what we do in the ring. They, they may love it, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they respect it. You know what I'm saying? Ralph Imabayashi avoiding a close call right there. You know, it still amazes me how in 2017 there are people who can look at Jake De Leon and assume that he isn't athletic because of his body type. And that's how they don't respect pro wrestling. They think that you have to be model jacked and model ripped to be a wrestler. That's far from the case both men of the ring are showing. You look at someone like JDL and you... Yes! Right on the money! JDL's become too predictable. And Ralphie Mabayashi should know that. Someone who's hung around JDL so much, he should know just which cracks to take advantage of. Exactly. Look at that. Now Ralph's in control, as he should be. Ralphie Mabayashi with those stiff forearms. JDL with the Irish whip now, and another forearm from Ralphie Mabayashi. He's not going to take Ralph that easily. What a suplex from Mabayashi. You look at that velocity on that suplex, that's, that's more pain than your usual, you know, delayed vertical. And when you look at Ralph, he's 5'5", 151, you wouldn't expect him to have all that strength hey. and that he deceives you. Hey, come on, just because he is not as tall as you does not mean he is not as strong. I never made it about the height. I was about to bring up a point about how someone like Tokohiro Ishii also has a lot of strength despite his lack of height. Just, you just, I thought you didn't make it about the height. Mabayashi now with the snapmare takedown. Uh -huh. Trying to limit the breathing of JDL. And JDL's gonna have a tough time here. Coming back if he cannot get the oxygen that he needs in these critical moments in the match. Especially since JDL relies a lot on his athleticism yes. to pull out the win. Ralph has got the right idea of limiting his cardio. JDL runs around a lot, and maybe he shouldn't knowing that Ralph can cut off his air as easily as this. When you look at JDL and Ralph Mabayashi, you have complete opposites of how these guys have dealt with losing the PWR Championship. JDL has always made it a point to be the guy doing the right thing. He's always made it a point to have a positive outcome. And Ralph, this is a guy who's let anger consume him. Hey, Ralph is showing you, showing the world, that it's okay to be angry when things don't go your way, man. As long as you get angry, you do something about it, you make your plan, you achieve your goals, just, that's okay. And where has that led Ralph? How many matches has he won since losing the PWR Championship in February 2016? Hey, 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 that was a long time ago. That wasn't the same Ralph you're watching now. This might be a different Ralph. This might see a, a, a Ralph that's gonna win. But what you're failing to consider is that that Ralph led to this Ralph, all those events that happened in between. 
drop kick from Rocky Mabayashi. And you can see he tried to delay the landing for maximum impact. It doesn't matter what Ralph is doing now, as long as what matters to him is that he gets the results he wants. It's okay to be angry as long as you get the result you want. It's okay to hurt people along the way as long as you get the result you want for the goals you set for yourself. Tell me that again when Ralph has more wins than losses on his record. Sure, okay, we need to start with this match. JDL ever able to break out of that hole and now here he comes. Able to counter Ralph Mabayashi. Oh, 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 it's that wonderful hip toss armbar. JDL has got that He's armbar long time by Ralph Mabayashi getting his feet on the bottom rope and JDL has no choice but to let go. See, Ralph knew where he was. He was able to get his foot on the ropes despite the really critical spot that, he, that JDL put him in. And that's ring awareness right there. You can see Ralph clutching his arm. Make no mistake, even though uh, JDL had to cut that hold, it still hurt Ralph. There was still damage dealt right there. <laughs> These two men exchanging strikes now. It's about to get really heated. It's already hot. You can say that again. Is JDL mad at him? Why is that? No, that's frustration. What has he got to be mad about? He's got nothing to get mad about. It's just that he can't see the foot Ralph away, and they're going tit for tat. Now, Ralph, with the, all those punches and, and uh, strikes to JDL, JDL looks a bit dazed, but oh! Ralph is not going to go down that easily. JDL looks surprised. What a rebound to that lariat. Okay, he kind of poked the lion over there. He kind of poked the lion into getting him into the corner. And look at Ralph trying to shake the feeling back into his, into his right arm. I think that's his left arm that's hurt. It's that been captured by the arm breaker earlier. Both men are down. Referee Matt Rojas, Matt Rojas yeah. is trying to get out. You have to hand it to the Rebel Nation for sticking with us through the heat. Just enjoying what a matchup we're getting from uh, Ralphie Mabayashi and JDL. Oh, oh Ralph, what? No, wow! That was a single leg drop kick. JDL has got the fire. JDL's on fire. Ralph is in a world of pain right now. JDL with the forever clotheslines on Ralphie Mabayashi. Ralph doesn't know where he is, but he's still not out of the match. He's still in this. But he's, he ain't the match. But he's JD still not out. JD he's not called out the payroll despite, corner. Despite being from underneath in this match. It's pretty clear who the crowd is rooting for in this match. This match is not over yet. Oh. What a but yes, kick to the yes, back of the head. Get him inside for the pin and the win. That's, you know, I spoke too soon. What's JDL looking for right here? Ralph's on his feet. Ah. Oh! Springboard clothesline from JDL. Because that air senorito. But air senorito cannot get look it done. Look at that kick out. That moment's hesitation. That moment, uh, you know, that delay in that springboard lariat was enough for Ralph to recover and kick out of that pin. And yet you can't discount the fact that every kick out will drain Ralph in the future. It will JDL's, continue to drain him. JDL's called for the inner cell lock and it's up to Ralph to get the hell out of this. He doesn't have it locked in fully. Ralph trying to yes, counter and he it, breaks out, out of it. And now, Super hole. Yeah, from Ralph and Babayashi. Basic but effective. Don't underestimate the effect of a sleeper hold. JDL on both knees and Ravi Mabayashi with a oh, natural selection. A front flip face buster. That should be enough to take JDL out. Or not. Yes, not. Ravi Mabayashi's got to be asking himself what's it going to take to put away the two time PWR champion? Ralph is, uh, you know, willing some feeling into his left, his right leg. I don't know what he's going to call for here. 
Oh, uh, there's a knee. He just took out the knee oh. pad. Oh! 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 oh. oh. The super kick! Went too far in. Did the Senorita kick do Ralph in though? No, no, no. Ralph is still in this match. JDL is going... To represent. JDL has been going through his Rolo deck to signature maneuvers from his Air Senorito to the Araro the Senorito, uh, Senorito kick, all of them. And yet, Ralph Mabayashi is still in this. Ralph Mabayashi, oh my god! Oh, the what? Sonic Crusher. He counted it into the... Oh! Matt Gross is down! The they've been dropped, but there's no referee! Now, where have we seen this before? Yeah, the, the audience has the right idea. There's no win if there's no one to count three. Hey, Redrick Mahaba wants to see this match going Redrick on fair Mahaba and square. Redrick Mahaba is not an official. He's not a licensed official. I think JDL is now getting a taste of what Ralph Imabayashi has been going through for the past year. Circumstances outside his control. Ralph Imabayashi getting ready. Here we go. Sorry, brother. Also, no one to count! No one to count! Come on, Matt Ross, count it! Count it! Matt Ross is third. One! Come on, count it faster! No! No! And that, that hesitation that Five. he made from Matt Ross counting is what gave JDL the wherewithal and the time to kick out. This is JDL's fault for inadvertently knocking out Matt Ross. This he is his fault. He didn't know where Matt Rojas Hey! Wait, wait, wait. What the hell is actually doing? He's taking it out on Matt Rojas. What the hell? What? Oh. Frederick Mahaba does not want to give the, the, the pan. Why? The Why was there even a tray in the first place? What the hell? I don't know. Ralph Imabayashi is... He's, he's losing right Mahaba now. does not want to give him the, the pan. Redrick Mahaba standing up for what is good. Come on, Red. You're his friend. Give it to him. Anyone down? They did it for themselves, and at the end of the day, that is what matters. I told you, the new generation is here to stay. I am embarrassed on behalf of everyone nope, who's nope. ever supported Redrick nope. Mahaba, who's ever supported Rob Imabayashi. How dare they?
Nothing but love, respect, and winning from MPNH. 